how to create a mosaic pattern in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, have a document, 1000 by 1000 or 2000 by 2000, just makes it easier so you've got sort of units of 100. So, right. Also, what you want is a colourful background. And so, I'm going to go to the gradient tool and select a gradient, just one of those gradients, one of the standard preset gradients, and go with mode difference. That's the key thing. And as well as reflected. It could be linear, could be radial, doesn't particularly matter about that. But go with difference, that's the blending mode. Now just apply it multiple times. Just with different origins, different angles, different lengths. And once that's done, now I'm going to do it about three or four, ten times. So you can get a really, really nice colourful background. And really, once you're happy with the design, you can stop. And then go to the mosaic feature. So... That's about it. Now, just zoom in a bit so you can actually see it a bit better there. Go to Filter and Pixelate and Mosaic. And the reason for that 1000 by 1000 was now I can set the cell size to 100 by 100. So you don't get any sort of like edges sort of going off the, the screen. So, so it's all nicely uniform there. I'm going to select it all. Select and select all. And then... Go in there and edit and copy. Deselect that. Image and canvas size. Now go up to the percent and set that to 200, 200. Click OK. Edit and fill. So I want the whole background to be white. So just go down to white for the contents. Click OK. And then... Paste that uh, image into there, edit and paste, and just drag it over there. Now, if you put the view, view menu, and you can see the snap, you've got snap to guides, layers, they're all on. So you can just now hold down Alt, Option key, and drag. So you can just duplicate those layers. So now you've got four layers in all those corners. So you see edit window and layers just to see those. Now select the top right and flip the horizontal for that one. Select the bottom right and again transform and flip horizontal in the edit menu. Once you've got those, select the two top layers there, the obviously the ones at the bottom, I should say. Layer one, copy three and copy two, and then edit and transform and flip vertical. Now you've got your pattern, so you can see each of those squares match the ones at the bottom, top, etc., all the way around. So what you can do, flatten that image, so layer and flatten image, and then edit menu and define pattern. Click OK. So now you've got your pattern, so you can go to new fill layer by the layer menu and create a pattern fill. Now you can set that to 50% and you can see your pattern there. Just drag that. I'm going to cancel that point because what I want to do is work a bit more with the actual original source pattern. Because what you can do, you can also apply mosaics again. So you just go to filter and pixelate and mosaic. But instead of like using, you could use 50. If you use 50, so your cell size, it really doesn't make any difference. It will just end up looking exactly the same. So you click OK there. No change. What you want to do is go to Mosaic and Pixelate and say put 43, 44, something like that. Some slightly different value and so you can see the lines appear there. So you can create a very more interesting sort of blurry mosaic. And you can apply it again, maybe with a different setting again. So once or twice and maybe set that down, 43, 35, click OK. Once you've done that, what you can then do you can go over to edit and define pattern, click OK, and then you've got your layer and new fill layer pattern, click OK, and you can move that around. Once that panel's up, you can actually see that panel. Now you can just drag that around, set the scale, say to 50, move it around, and you've got your pattern design, your pattern mosaic. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new tutorials, and also... Uh, 
please add some comments. Always great to hear. Thank you much. <laughs>